Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up RESTful web services. You can start with the dynamic web. You can convert the project to Maven project so you don't need to download the libraries and dependencies. We need to add the dependency for just see. You can get the bundle one, so it includes everything. Jersey server and Jersey client. Okay, so now you need to generate the deployment descriptor. Go to Java E tools and generate. Now we need to declare the servlet. I will prepare the content here. This one, first thing you need to declare the servlet container. This one. And then we need to declare the mapping so we can access the red services from this part. Save it. Now we need to create a normal Java class. Just name whatever you want. Package. Okay. I also prepare some code to save the time. So I just get the first method. And this one just kind of normal okay because we we have create the declare the dependency in pom file but we need to clean and build so maybe we download the library so we can use it in the project Okay, here you see we just try to get some XML content and then we will return the response from the API in XML format. So now we can go ahead and test it. Just try to clean and view again. Okay, now I want to add the project to Tomcat server and click finish. Now I start the server. Oops. Oh, I forgot to declare the part here. Should be this one. Just name whatever in Okay, now I need to clean and view again. Okay, try to restart to make sure everything is fine. Yeah, should be okay. And then now I can test it. API, this is we declare in web.xml. Look in this one part. Okay, here you can see the content. Okay. This one, the get method, now I want to 
define a post method and see what we can do with that. Okay, so we can try with the second method. And also in this method, I want to produce another another type. Uh, we use JSON, which is really common for web and mobile. So just try to import it. Oops. So, um, should be this one. And this one is my custom object to to contain the message. So just it's just simply the normal Java. Java bean class mm, to store some messages there. Okay. Now, I just assume that we have two additional uh, parameters. First one is to the username. In this name it doesn't matter, you can define here. And the second one is password. And for the method name, you can name whatever, and the services doesn't really care about that. Just only look at the, this one, and then the extended method and parameters. Okay, now I use Google JSON to convert from the object to JSON data. So I need to find the JSON. Anything you want, I put it to POM file again, and we need to clean and view to download it throughout the project. Okay, now I just try to restart the server. Save it. Yeah, I need to import that to the project and then clean and clean and build and restart the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I go and check. This one, let's say, admin and admin number. Yeah, it doesn't work because it's a push method. Here's get method. Now I just try to change it to get method and see. Clean and view the project. And start it again. Sometimes if you change the class, you don't need to restart the server. I just make it that way so we can make it faster. Now you can see, right? Now if I change it to number two and then see it's wrong. But how I can access the post method? Okay. Now I change it back to post method. I stop the server and then I clean and view. Okay, now I run it again. So I can show you a, another way to do it by calling from Jersey client. I will also prepare the code for you here. Just a very simple code. Okay, this one here. We just enter the URL here and then we pass the parameters here and then we can run this can return the data here right okay I just run it okay you can see the results here right if I change it to one and then run again yes it's different now right so is everything today let me review Okay, dependency, 
the only thing you need to set up RESTful service is Jersey Bundle. I use version 1.19. And for JSON, I prefer to use Google JSON to um, maybe pass JSON data. And then you need to declare the sublet container for Jersey in web.xml. For API class, it's simply a normal uh, Java class. And then you need to declare the part here in front of the class. And then you define the method with a random name, whatever name. And then with this one, you access from here and it will come to here. And if you want to add some external, um, I mean like some up, um, additional parameters, you can define in the other method. And then you define the name for that and you can access inside the method. And then uh, if you want to return XML data, you can just put the text with the XML structure like this. And then for JSON, you can use Google JSON. And then for client, you can, if you set the method is get, you can access directly from the, the URL or maybe the client application. But if you want to access um, the post method, you need to define is um, explicitly so you can get that okay that's all for today thanks for watching